good morning happy tuesday it is i think seven something right now i took out my hair i washed it and blow dried it last night and i just like braided it up into plaits so i took that out so this is what it looks like i actually want to try to um do curls on my blow dried hair i've seen it on like pinterest and stuff like that i don't know if i have anything to do it with though and i might wait until it's like actually cooler outside but i'm not going anywhere so this is okay for just being in the house but i have on my sweatshirt that i made last night i love it i wasn't i was the plan was to make this for pumpkin nights but I just want to wear it now. And I have two more um, heat transfers coming in. So I can always wear one of those. Or I can obviously still wear this one. But I'm wearing it right now. Because that's how much I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but anyway, I am about to fix some breakfast. So let's go do that. I'm just going to have toast, but it's going to have strawberry cream cheese and bacon on it. So I need to cook the bacon first because that is going to take the longest. So this is the bacon that I get from Central Market, Applewood thick cut bacon so i'm going to make it in the air fryer actually so actually well we don't use the air fryer a whole lot because i was going to say we need a bigger one but we don't use it that much but it would be nice to have a bigger one but we don't use it that much so anyway come over here and get some pam and spray this. And then I'm gonna take my bacon I usually do like three pieces. I end up only using two for the bread and then I just eat one slice on its own. Is that? I feel like I heard that movie before. The Batman. Oh, that's Our why. First date. That's why I've heard it before. You might have heard it. I love the Batman. Yeah. The Batman might be my favorite. The bacon has about three more minutes on there now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, or toast the bread. So this is the bread I'm using. Oh, it's gluten free. Babe, did you know that? Yep. Oh, the brand is called Gluten Free Yourself. So, the brand is called Gluten Free Yourself. It's uh, a French loaf. We got it when we were at the farmer's market in Austin. And Anthony said it's good bread. So, I'm going to try it out. So, I'm just going to take two pieces and toast them. Using my toast plate, I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe. I have a toast one, an egg, and a bacon. Just 
So anytime I'm making one of these foods, I make sure I use the plate <laughs> so that we're actually using them. So I'm gonna put my toast in my toast plate. The bacon has one minute remaining, so I'm gonna get uh, the plate ready so I can soak all that grease off. Also, this is the cream cheese that I'm using. I don't know what makes this cream cheese so good, but it's really good. They have like, you know, the uh, original flavor. I've never tried that from this brand. I've only ever had the strawberry. Cause the only thing I do with it is put it on toast, so. This is what the bacon looks like. It's very, very crispy. If you don't want your bacon that crispy, then don't cook it as long as I did. If I were just making like eggs and bacon and something like, something like that, then I wouldn't have made it as crispy. But for my toast, I like it to be crispy. This is my toast. Yes, I put a lot of cream cheese on there. And then I like break these in half, put two on there. Two on here. And then I set that one to the side. And this is my breakfast. We went to this one restaurant where they had, um, for breakfast I got toast like this with cream cheese on it. And theirs had cucumbers and I think tomatoes. And then I asked for bacon because it's recommended that you get it with salmon, which I'll probably get next time we go, but I wanted bacon. So I asked for bacon and it was so good and that's why I started making this at home myself. Except for I don't put the cucumbers on it. And I have cucumbers, but I'm, I just don't feel like cutting them up right now. So this is my breakfast. I'm gonna eat and I also need to I think I'm gonna make me a, I don't know if I want a matcha lemonade or a kombucha. I think I'll have kombucha. And I'll make a matcha lemonade later. So let's see what kombucha I'm gonna drink. Oh, I also need to drink water today because I probably didn't have nearly as much water over the weekend. So I need to get back to my drinking water um i'm gonna go with my tried and true strawberry lemonade buddhist brew so i'm gonna eat my breakfast and also i told y'all in I think the vlog from like two days ago or something like that, I can't keep up at this point. It, uh, on TikTok, I saw a girl doing a Bible challenge for September. This is Anthony's Bible. I need to find mine. It's probably still packed up somewhere. Um, Cause for the most part, like at church, I just use my phone because they, it goes so fast. Like when I first started, like my old church back home, we didn't have like all the screens and everything like that. So I needed a Bible. At this church, they have the screens with the passages on it. Plus you can download it on your phone. Plus it goes so fast. So like by the time I go to the scripture, he's probably already on the next scripture. So I stopped taking my Bible to church for that reason. Um, but anyway, for the month of September, I'm reading a chapter of first and second Corinthians every day. So I'm gonna do that this morning also. And then I will see y'all sometime this afternoon. Y'all, Anthony's Bible is making me want to upgrade my Bible, which now I probably will. He has a study Bible. He got this when he was baptized at church. I got a Bible too, which I have loved my Bible. Um, I've had it for years now, 
So I think it's time for an upgrade because I really appreciate, um, you know, it gives you like little notes about what the, you know, like Paul's an Paul answers question. Paul answers church questions. Paul addresses church problems. Like it's a study Bible. So it's very informative. It goes in depth a lot more and everything like that. I think I'm gonna look for a Bible. Also y'all, I feel like most of my vlogs are rants, but we need a second bedroom. Well, by we, I mean me. Anthony doesn't care. Anthony is so chill, especially compared to me. Like he doesn't care about much. I need a second bedroom. It's just because because I am someone who likes arts and crafts stuff and I get into everything, I just have nowhere to do that in our current apartment. This is my desk setup. So this is like my personal desk. And then it's also where I work from home at. And so anything like creative either happens on this desk or it happens on the kitchen table. So if I had a second room, cause I've thought about getting another desk <laughs> and just adding along here. So then I'll have two desks. Maybe I'll do that, I don't know. But like that's the setup right now. Um, so I need a second room because I don't think I told y'all yet either, but I make candles. I make candles, I'm gonna like, cut that out because I don't want y'all to see the business name because I don't have an LLC yet and I don't want anyone to steal it. But I make candles now. A lot of these are like test candles. That's why they look rinky dink like this. But I also am trying to make wax melts, but like I make these candles, like the bubble candles, and I make my own candle vessels. I made these. So, I make candles now, but like this is my makeshift bar, which I'm actually going to get back into making candles. So, the thing with making something like, I feel like my hair looks weird. The thing with making something like candles is that you don't just want to make a candle and sell it without having like insurance and everything like that because you know you're giving someone something that can catch stuff on fire. So that's the only thing holding me back right now is that I need to find a lawyer which I'll probably just find one at church because they're has to be a lawyer at church like i just know that there's a lawyer at church so i need to find a lawyer at church so they can help me set up my llc and make sure i have the right business insurance and all that stuff and then the only thing i have to do is like get packaging and stuff like that but i really want to start selling at farmers markets first so i'll have to get like a table and a tablecloth and all the designs for that um so I'm gonna work on that because I want to start officially selling candles by the beginning of next year. Well, like beginning or middle of next year, I wanna have everything up and ready to sell candles. So that's that. And now that I've done this sweatshirt, I want to buy a Cricut. I've had a Cricut like a long time ago. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, I was like broke and I needed the money so I returned the Cricut. And so now I want one again. I want a Cricut and I want the heat press because I want to make more shirts. And I know you can like wrap cups and tumblers with them too. And when I had a Cricut, I was making signs. So like I made a sign that said, hello fall. You know like signs you can put on your door or... um use for decor around your house. That's what I was making before I returned my Cricut. So, I need a second bedroom. While the noodles are cooking, I kinda wanna talk about my Christian journey and like my faith. So, I grew up Baptist um, 
And for the most part, we went to church pretty much every Sunday. We went to like all the church events and everything like that. I was in the choir. My mom was a Sunday school teacher. Um, my grandma, you know, did a lot of the cooking for the events and everything like that. She was in the choir, so on and so forth. And then probably once my mom had a stroke, she had a stroke when I was 12 once she had the stroke we kind of like fell off a little bit with going to church because just you know life reasons and everything like that and then at a certain point like we didn't go to church at all really and then i started going to church again sometime after high school so like maybe when i was like 18 19 i started going to church again except this time i was going to a church of christ so i started going to church of christ and my family didn't care for that too much because we grew up baptist so it was just a whole thing of you know why do you want to go to this church they thought i was doing it for the wrong reasons everything like that so I started going to a Church of Christ and then I got baptized in the Church of Christ and I've been Church of Christ ever since. But there's been, I don't know if I want to call it struggles really. Well, let me backtrack a little. So I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 18 and that was probably one of the first times I really struggled with my faith because, you know, I, I just was mad at the world pretty much. like. Why did this happen to me? What did I do to deserve this? You know, I was just mad at everything. So I went through a period of like, I don't know if I didn't believe in God or if I was just mad at him, but I went through a period of like, just not caring about church or God or anything like that. Um, and then I went through a period of really believing in God and you know trusting that everything will work out I may not understand why this has happened to me but you know it's all gonna work out in the end it'll all make sense in the end so I struggled with that for a little bit but when I was baptized in the Church of Christ I like came became a devout Christian like super devout I was at morning worship evening worship bible studies on wednesdays tithing just behaving living life like a christian and then i moved to texas i moved to san antonio and this was during covid and everything so everyone was streaming church service so I was streaming and then when I moved here to the DFW area, COVID was like starting to lighten up, but you know, people were still doing the mask at church and everything and everywhere. So instead of doing that, I just streamed church at home still. And that's how I found our current church. So when the, the mask mandate was, um, uplifted or whatever and everything was going back to normal i finally went to church in person and i fell in love with my church and i've been there ever since but i i don't know i do believe in god and i you know no one's perfect no one can ever be perfect i definitely fall short sometimes especially when it comes to studying the bible and i could be more involved at church also like we didn't do it this summer because um we've done a lot this summer but like last summer we taught the three-year-old but anyway back to what i was saying so i don't remember exactly what i was saying but so now oh i think i was talking about being a better christian so one of the things that I'm doing to work towards being a better Christian is studying the Bible. And so it's great that Anthony has to study Bible because that will make it 10 times easier and better. So I'm doing that. And then also we do get involved with stuff at church. Like 
last year we um taught the three-year-olds over the summer we wanted to do it this year but that's something that you have to be committed to obviously and you know we had already planned like my birthday and all this other stuff that we've done this summer so we just didn't want to say we could do something that we actually couldn't commit to doing and lately i haven't been struggling with my faith in the sense like oh i don't want to go to church and i want to do anything but i have been struggling in the sense of i don't i don't know like sometimes it seems hard to just blindly follow something or like when people i guess i get more so annoyed when people say things like i don't know let's say that someone's rent is coming up or they're late on their rent and they're not doing anything to get the money but they're just like oh god got me everything will work out i don't know like stuff like that just annoys me because it's like In my head, that's just not how that's just not how faith works. Like, yes, you have to have faith, even just a must mustard seed of faith, but you also have to do the work. Like, faith without works is dead. So when people just like say random stuff like that, it kind of makes me roll my eyes. Or when you just start thinking about like the state of the world and you know the bad things that happen. It, it's just like you know why would that happen when there's a god type of stuff but i don't know anthony has been very encouraging and he's like well even though you feel that way you know just still go to church still read your bible still be involved in all that stuff so i'm thankful to have him too that's why it's good to have a partner if you're a christian it's good to have a partner who's also a christian because when one of y'all starts slipping or falling short prayerfully the other person is there to start picking y'all up so i'm thankful to have him for that as well um but anyway i'm going to eat my noodles and read today's the fifth i did start reading this but i was just reading off the bible app on my phone i'm going to start over from chapter one using anthony's bible so i'm going to read chapters one through five today and then i'm also trying our dill pickle popcorn hopefully anthony doesn't mind me opening it without him we got this from the farmer's market in Austin. It's really good. We both love pickles. And this popcorn is so good. So I'm gonna eat, read the Bible, and I'll see y'all later. Work is over. But also I read the um, fifth chapter, chapter of First Corinthians today. So what I'm going to do is I read the chapter just as is from um, the Bible app and then I'll go through Anthony's study Bible and actually take a deep dive into everything. But I read the fifth chapter today and I wanted to get on here and talk about it because, you know, it talks about judgment and how you shouldn't judge non-believers but you do judge the believers who are living in sin whether it be sexually or getting drunk or worshiping idols or anything like that and i just wanted to come on here and talk about something because anthony and i live together which a lot of people just automatically think that we're living in sin but we are not living in sin because there's no sin in living together the sin would be if we were being sexually active which we are not sexually active but it was a like a struggle for or not a struggle but you know like when we first moved in together 
not even when we moved in together but you know like when anthony especially when he started going to church with me and everything because you know people ask like oh well where do you live you know like just n normal questions but we weren't gonna lie to people you know like i mean i guess we could have said that he lived somewhere else but it didn't it wasn't that serious to a lot of people but you could always tell that people were judging the situation of us living together because they would ask questions like oh well how many bedrooms is in y'all apartment you know to see if we had our own rooms or you know try to like they would ask questions to try to figure out what type of situation sleeping arrangements and everything like that we had going on and even someone someone told us like oh you know like when our lease was up at our old apartment they were like oh maybe you know we should we should look to for anthony to get his own place like we get our own place just a whole lot of stuff and it was just interesting because people are just so quick to judge and i just don't understand and it does depend on the people, okay? Not everyone can do what Anthony and I are doing. Not everyone can live under the same roof and not have sex, I guess. But don't go judging everyone. Like, the amount of people who just assume that, oh, we live together, so we're having sex. It's like, no, no. We're... So now I think about it, I'm like, yeah, why would I, why should I be ashamed that I live with my fiance if we're not living in sin? Why should I be ashamed? I'm not doing anything wrong. We're not doing anything wrong because there's no sin about living together. Um, but yeah, not that that's anyone's business, really. It's not anyone's business, but it was just interesting that, you know, someone actually suggested that we get our own place it was interesting that someone actually suggested that we got our own place anthony's texting me right now um but yeah because i feel like if if that were a struggle for us then sure that would be great advice hey look into getting your own place when the lease is up looking to get getting a second bedroom but i just don't also don't like how people it's like when you tell when you tell people that you live together they just act like there's no possible way to not have sex when there's people who don't live together who have sex all the time like people make it seem like the only way to have sex is if you live together like people who don't live together don't have sex all the time it's just weird but um i just read the fifth chapter so then later i'm gonna go through anthony's book and actually take a deep dive and study a little bit more about what was going on in corinth at that time i i keep like messing with my hair because it's just getting puffier and puffier as the day goes on and i haven't even been like out or anything my hair has gr is growing so well i was actually thinking about like my hair journey today i don't know if i talk i have a video of when i was combing out my locks i don't know if i talked about like my hair journey or not but mm, this is my first time like growing out my hair probably since i was a kid you know like high school age so my hair is doing really well and this is my first time obviously growing it out since i had locks i had locks for a year um and then i combed out my locks and i got boho box braids and then after that i went to a at the beginning of this year i went to a hairstylist and got a silk press and she trimmed my hair so when she trimmed it it probably like came up to my shoulder it's like at my shoulder so now it's just a little bit past that so 
it's growing and i'm not going to cut it or anything i'll get trims when necessary but i'm not cutting my hair or anything i actually want to grow it out now so i don't for, so for me i know that there are tons of people with naturally curly hair whose hair grows well when it's in its natural state but for me i feel like my hair grows better when i blow dry it out at least not even straighten it but when it's blow dried out because i don't take care of my curly hair so when my hair is curly like you know when i go to sleep i don't braid it up or plait it up or any of that so i just wake up and like fluff it out but i didn't comb it or anything so I feel like it causes a lot of breakage and damage whereas when i blow dry my hair i like tonight i will plait this up like i will actually do that and wrap it and everything so it's easier to manage this way and i feel like that has helped with me being able to grow it finally so i don't wear my hair in its natural state a lot these days like actually this year i probably this year alone i've probably only worn my hair curly no more than five times and my five times might be pushing it but no more than five times so i hope y'all are enjoying these daily vlogs i'm only doing it for this week because as y'all can see i just don't have a lot going on in my life especially on a weekday i have to work like how much can i do um especially because i can't show y'all what i do for work nor do i care to show y'all what i do for work so none of that can be included in my vlogs um but i'm really just trying to get back into the swing of vlogging and uploading to youtube which is why i'm here i really do want to try to grow my platform so i am going to be more consistent i'm obviously not going to do daily vlogs and i might do more than vlogs um but i'll come up with a schedule i don't know one right now off the top of my head but i do want to be more consistent with youtube and actually see if i can grow my channel i was talking about this with um anthony i think yesterday i was talking about this with him because he was actually watching uh he was actually watching the vlog that i posted some days ago like when i officially came back he was watching that vlog and he was like that sounds just like and he named another youtuber but like a youtuber who has i don't know if she has a million followers i don't know if she has a million followers but she has a lot of followers and he was like your vlog sounds like hers and i was like i know but i don't get the same views or engagement as her and then so he was like well you have to do something that you know only people can get from you which is very true however i and when i say this i don't i'm not looking for like sympathy or anything like that but i was talking to him about this and i was like yeah that is true however i can be honest with myself and i know that like i'm not funny you know i'm not a comedian i don't even joke a whole lot that's one difference between me and anthony because anthony is a jokester and i'm more of a serious person like i i barely like joke in general so i'm not funny um you know i don't have that much of an interesting life like i work a regular nine to five and even outside of that like it's not like i have a bunch of money to blow on designer and shopping sprees and everything like that and you know i think i'm i think i'm a pretty woman i think i'm you know like pretty average looking so it's not like i'm just this beautiful woman that everyone wants to see and follow or anything like that so i do want to talk about having a chronic illness more because that's probably the most the most interesting thing about me is probably having crohn's disease and on tiktok people are pretty 
are pretty interested in that stuff. I might do more arts and crafts though because that is a major part of my life. Um, well, not a major part, but I do a lot of arts and crafts and like small stuff like that. Like I feel like there's bits and pieces of interesting pieces of my life and like just me in general. But overall, I'm not a very interesting person. So I do need to figure out a way to make my channel more interesting with things that are actually a part of who I am. I don't want to like start doing stuff that, you know, I don't really align with, but I do need to sit and pull out the parts of me that are interesting or the things I'm interested in that can make good content and then make videos around that. So we'll see. But anyway, I am going to get off of here now. Actually, am I going to come back later? I think this is going to be the end of the vlog because like I say, Anthony's on call. So he's just going to want to rest when he gets home and then cook at some point. We don't have anything going on tonight. So actually, that is going to be the end of this vlog vlog thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all tomorrow love you bye